Hey guys, what is up? I'm delighted to make this review. Today we look at Luis Hernandez, the Mexican icon with 4 star skills. Somebody who's been really good throughout FIFA, FIFA 17. I remember how good he was. Oh my god, I remember playing my nephew and he absolutely destroyed me with Luis Hernandez. And one thing that really shines out about Luis Hernandez is his pace, great agility, great balance, good dribbling. 4 star skills and also most importantly his hair like you know when Luis Hernandez is on that pitch he's got them but he's got that blonde hair rocking and he looks fantastic in game so really does shine he just shine out quite a bit and I really like that because being an icon means you're different and he really does show that with his blonde hair because there's not many people that look like Luis Hernandez he's very unique in that way now what did I think about him? He is a very, very good striker in this game. I want to break down his qualities to you guys one by one. First of all, his pace. Oh my God. He's so fast. He's ridiculously fast. Let me tell you something. He's so fast. He's probably one of the fastest players I've ever used in this game. Uh, he's not faster than Kylian Mbappe, of course, but... Trust me, this guy is absolutely rapid because a fast player with good dribbling is even more faster. Like, if you know what I mean, because you're on the ball, you have to dribble with the ball. If you got pace, that's fantastic. But you also need good ball control, and that's what I'm happy to say he's got. He's got great attack positioning. Fantastic attack positioning, which allows him to be in the box at the right time and score you crucial goals that you need, whether it's in foot champs or division rivals. I love the way he's four-star skills brilliant he's got a really good right peg like his shots unbelievable when you shoot with the right foot okay another thing is really really fast is what i mean by that is agility the way he can move on the ball he's fantastic he got turn around it's so easy for him it's fantastic it really is he's got great agility great balance great dribbling four star skills which is brilliant which is what you want in your striker them are his positives. Now, negatives, he has got quite a few negatives, unfortunately. His short pass and long pass is not very good at all. He's got a three-star weak foot, which is my main problem with this card, is his three-star weak foot. Now, height doesn't matter. I don't score headers, if you know what I mean. Uh, unless I've got Didier Drogba, I'll try to score a header with him, but not with Hernandez. I won't be crossing the ball if I had Hernandez. Even though Hernandez has got fantastic jumping and, and heading, by the way. Now... What I would say is, his 3-star weak foot is the reason why I probably would avoid this card, to be honest. Now, hands down, don't get me wrong, by any stretch of the way, I'm not saying this is a good card. This is a brilliant card. But I'm just saying his 3-star weak foot lets him down so much that I'd rather pick up Amelia Butrigueno. Because I'll tell you something, it's not just me saying this. This guy, I picked him up for 580k. And it's his baby, it, this is his middle card. His baby card's 85. Emilio Butrigueno is going for almost a million coins. There's the difference. That, that's what I'm saying. If this guy had a 5-star weak foot or a 4-star weak foot, it would be so much more desirable to pick up. Like, it, I wouldn't even think twice I'd pick it up. But he missed so many crucial opportunities for me that... I felt distasteful. I was like, oh, come on, Hernandez. I just want to say the truth. I'm not the best player in the, way, in, the, in the game. I'm only a gold one or a gold two player. Tops, I'd say gold one. you got to really understand what I mean. I was breaking through, but he was missing on many, many chances. Like, I'll be honest with you. Having chances in foot champs and not taking them is not where you want to be. So that's what I have to say. You have to really make sure you shoot with his right foot. His passing is woeful. It's really bad, right? Sometimes he can make some good pass passes. I have to admit that. But sometimes he makes some really bad passes. I, I don't know if it's him or the game. It might be a combination of both. But yeah, I have to say his three-star weak foot is the one thing that I really think, ah, oh, it really, 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 really takes out the greatness out of this card. I don't know why, but this FIFA than any other FIFA, I just feel like having a 5-star weak foot is crucial and having 5-star, 4-star skills doesn't really matter. I genuinely would say that. But I loved him in the sense that he had great, uh, he was so good in countering. 
He's so fast. Oh my god. He just runs down the pitch with such ease. So yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to make this a negative. I just want to tell the truth about Luis Hernandez. There's a reason why he's under 600k. And one of the reasons is that is because of his three-star weak foot. But when he does shoot with his right foot, he is delightful to use. He's a brilliant, brilliant striker. I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10. I am sad to say that because I'm a really big fan of Luis Hernandez and I love him. But I just feel like that weak foot, if only he never had that, he would be a sensational striker. Honestly, I absolutely love him. But that weak foot and that passing just lets him down. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And Luis Hernandez, I can't wait to use your prime moments. Thank you.